Known for its iconic green frog, great sushi, and implementing the first electronic ordering system in Singapore, Sakai Sushi has a reputation for innovation. And I'm here today to speak with Douglas Fu, the CEO, to see what else they've got up their sleeves. My name's Neil Moore, and this is part two of Canon Think Big. In the previous episode of Canon Think Big, you talked us through some of the difficulties of starting up, but right. um, once you expand and, and grow and have the company you have now, that I guess comes with new problems. So what might they be? Once you start growing to what, how we are on the journey, about 250 shops around 10 countries, different zone, different culture, different background. And as you start, start to grow, you can sometimes not be able to see everybody the touch point, the face time, all gets get, get de decreased. So one of the things that we do, every month we try to have a breakfast meeting. So I have breakfast with people from different departments, from different divisions. So people is actually one of our key cornerstones of how the company will have come so far and will bring us uh, further on on this journey. We hear this a lot, people are, are absolutely essential, they're the cornerstone. So who are these people? How do you find them? How do you sort them? We want people to have the right attitude. First, there must be a belief in what we're trying to do, that we're trying to create a global, global brand. It's a dream. So you must share with us the dream. So when you internalize that, yes, we, in, in this with us, we have the dream, then the attitude will show. And right now, one of the key strengths of the organization today is having the ability to have everybody having the innovative idea or innovative value system within them to look for something be better in terms of processes and areas such as they're much more efficient and in the end they can be much more productive. Looking around it's clear that uh, innovation is a, a key ingredient in the success of Sakai Sushi. Perhaps you can talk us through some of the key innovations over the last few years. We wanted to create a restaurant where people just take without thinking much, because it's so affordable. And one of the ways to make it affordable is to make the food go to the customer. And that's what we have done. You can actually have a hot water tap here that you can actually make your own tea. You can just turn around and just grab something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever you, that you like. Yeah, you see something you like? Lovely. So you like this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. then just grab it, all right? Put it down. And just grab the chopsticks. And grab two plates. Yep, I'll come. And we get the chopsticks out. Yep, all right. And you're ready to start the meal. So innovation doesn't always mean technology? Absolutely, so it's, it's what, what works. So, so for us, what, in, what is important is what actually works because people are looking for something that's efficient. I just want to go to place, I don't grab something that I like and things that I have got confidence of. So food safety. Vitamin E and rich rice. Can't find anything that you like. Well, and you start looking at this. So yeah, I want this. All right. You just order. And this is unique to Sakai Sushi, right? Yes, this is our, our in-house patent program. So you can do whatever that you need here, and the order is being sent there. And orders now will come on tier, and then you just bring it down. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. One of the questions we ask frequently on this show is about advice. What's the best advice you've either given out or been given yourself? Probably I would say through our experience, it's about perseverance. Yeah, because many a times when you believe in something, it's not that the first time that you're going to do it, you succeed. You, you might take a few steps before you get to that model. And if you're not, you do not persevere, it's not that you don't have a successful business model, but because you didn't give it some time. With that in mind, thinking big but acting in small, prudent steps, what are the next steps for Sakai Sushi? The most important part, which I am actually doing right now, is a five to ten year plan on a much bigger dimension. For us to become a global brand, right? First, you need people. You need 30,000 shops around five continents. Each shop needs 10 people. You need 300,000 people. Where are we going to get 300,000 people? Well, we start young. We are now having scholarships in schools where people actually work with us even during school time. And by the time you graduate, as compared to your peers, you're already heads up. Because during your school time, you're already working with the company from the different departments and different divisions. 
So it's an intended pipeline of human capital building in order to realise that dream of building a global brand. To bring it back round to the theme of this programme, Thinking Big, could you encapsulate what that means to you? Personally, I like the Canon Think Big slogan. Because anything that you want to do, you need to have a dream. And dreams are always big. We always have big dreams. So, have, having thought through on the big dream, you need to articulate back to where you are today. And start the journey on how you can realise that dream eventually. Douglas, I think that's a very inspirational note to end the interview on. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, best of luck for the future. And I hope to see you again. Best of luck. You're most welcome. And best of health as well. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for watching. That was Canon Think Big. And um, you know what? I'm really hungry. I'm going to go have some sushi. <laughs>